Have you ever wondered why they say Christmas in July? Well, this year, is especially, it especially struck my curiosity. In my research, I found numerous examples of this or that claiming it was the first to celebrate Christmas in July. I will give a summary of my findings, and I hope you find this as interesting as I. I know it is the beginning of August, but I have been meaning to put this out before now, and the month got away from me, July. I've barely been online much to begin with. So the first example, and is my favorite example, is from here in Western North Carolina. According to legend, Christmas in July was first celebrated at a summer camp in 1933 when Keystone Camp in Bavar, North Carolina decided to dedicate two days, July 24th and July 25th, to the holiday, complete with cotton, fake snow, a decked out tree, a gift exchange, and of course, Santa. Next, according to the Courier Journal, a Washington, D.C. church started a summer donation drive in 1942 to gather holiday gifts to send to missions around the world for Christmas. They called it Christmas in July. This reminds me of Franklin Graham's Operation Christmas Child and how they start collecting the boxes and everything so they can get it organized and sent out in time. So they start this around the summer as well, or late summer, early fall. Another example, the movement started in Italy, Europe, and where traditional Christmas is celebrated in winter, leading to the alternative celebration six months later the, to be celebrated in the summer. While it started out as an improvised summer celebration in Venice, it is now has become a yearly tradition. Yet another example, when the Brits got to Australia, Australia. They brought the idea that Christmas is a cold weather holiday, holiday. That means July when you're down under. Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, the US, Canada, and the UK are the main countries that celebrate Christmas in July. Christmas in July is celebrated in the Western, Western Hemisphere because July is the middle of the winter and usually their coldest month. I remember my time living in Costa Rica, and in 2005, I spent Christmas by the pool in my neighborhood where I was living then. Some of these other countries actually celebrate Christmas both times, July and December. Some are known to call this half Christmas. Next example, Christmas in July is often attributed to a group of Irish tourists, tourists that traveled to Sydney's Blue, Mountain, Blue Mountains in 1980. Delighted to see how to see snow on their summer trip, they convinced a local hotel owner to hold a Yuletide party. I remember seeing a Christmas store called Christmas in July when I was younger, and Hallmark especially caught my attention when they're taking advantage of this practice by having Christmas movies in July. I love Hallmark movies, especially the Christmas movies, so I really like this practice. Speaking of movies, people loved the novelty of the idea, and after the movie Christmas in July was released in the 1940s, the idea got even more attention. Down the line, people began purchasing more Christmas-based items during the hottest season of the year and even began having parties for it spice up the summer. To spice up the summer. Maybe next year I'll dig in more myself and join in the fun of celebrating Christmas July. I do, however, have questions regarding their celebrating Christmas at different times of the year if they do sincerely do so sincerely remembering the true reason for the season. It is not out of concern to me the months as much as are they indeed celebrating the birth of Jesus. There are discrepancies of the day and the particular month and so forth that Jesus was born. That's a whole nother time discussion. So next year, I'll dig more into this. And I noticed things in my research thus far, however, regarding certain foods and decorations for Christmas in July. So this will be fun to explore further. I hope you enjoyed this. It was just fun to explore. And happy August now. God bless.